Good afternoon. I am at the Las Vegas Convention Center parking lot, the one that's way away from the Convention Center. And I just dropped my camera and I couldn't find it. It was under the car. So I went into the back, got out an umbrella and swept under the car to pick up the camera. Now the camera mirror, the lens that I look through, is all scratched up, so I'm not totally sure that what I am filming is exactly what I should be filming. At any rate, it is a beautiful day, and I am on my way to World of Concrete. This is a big show, as the parking lot indicates. Lots of folks from all over the world attend and they are in the construction and concrete business. General contractors, masonry contractors, concrete contractors, uh, engineers, architects, ready mix producers, all kinds of folks. I am no expert in any of this, but I enjoy this show nonetheless. How's this for a hallway display only at the World of Concrete? Hungry after walking around the world of concrete, a lot of people choose to eat while standing up. We're going to tour the outdoor exhibits because they are a lot of fun and it's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. The world of concrete, incidentally, is in its 45th year. Okay, this is a showstopper, this big piece of equipment made by Extreme. And I was talking to a gentleman there, and he mentioned, because on the side of the machine, it says something about $9,899. I said, that doesn't sound right. That's the minimum payment that anyone would make if they're financing this piece of equipment, which is worth around $700,000, give or take. And the gentleman mentioned that this big piece of equipment could be rented or purchased and several of these items were used at Raiders Stadium and they may also be used at large oil fields etc. And it's beautiful in orange, one of my favorite colors. P.S. The Extreme Company is headquartered in Henderson, Nevada. This is part of the Ram commercial booth and it is uh, hatchet throwing. <laughs> I don't know what that has to do with uh, concrete and uh, making things in big buildings, but uh, hatchet throwing a minute ago was extremely popular. With this sign, I'm assuming Ram commercial makes vehicles that can be used by contractors on a job site and the name of the company can be prominent on the vehicle. This Ram cargo vehicle is only $36,000. at this piece of equipment and at first I thought it was some kind of fan but then I inquired I'm at the MV exhibit and their slogan is the crushing uh, evolution and I found out that this was a trommel screen this is something that uh, hangs on the end of an excavator and what it does is separate dirt from rocks in other words it scoops up a bunch of earth and twirls around, the earth comes out, the rocks stay in, and either the rocks are thrown away or they're used for other purposes. 
price, I think the gentleman said around $36,000. So trommel screen, that's a term I had never heard before today. And P.S., the MB company is an Italian company with offices in Reno. Well, the sign says it all here. This is concrete cutting and this, these are the pieces that will do the job. And the company is MM4. I stopped here because I wasn't quite sure what this was about. Rip the line, and yep. here a gentleman is explaining. He actually drew a cord across that uh, long piece of wood, and the idea is to use the cordless saw and just go along the line. And if you do, you get a t-shirt. And that is a way to introduce folks to these cordless saws by Makita. Nightcap Company has a big tent here, and I'm saying, what's going on? Well, it's a private event for private customers, and I guess you have to have an invitation or, or a wrist split or something to identify you as an invited guest. Seawald is a company with lots of equipment here. Don't understand what all of it does, but looks like we're talking motors and hoses of some kind and what almost looks like a washing machine, can't be, and um, well I'm not sure what I'll, oh there we go. Looks like some kind of concrete breaker upper. Anyway, DeWalt says guaranteed tough. Tough tile makes these um, polymer and cast iron ADA detectable warning products. So you see these bumps when you're walking on the sidewalk, you run into them, and people with um, seeing difficulties can feel what is coming up. And the what is coming up is made by Tough Tile. I'm standing in front of Sunfire, the ultimate heater, which would warm up folks on a cold job site. I have a great little sweeper at home, but it isn't that good that would pick up big items. I just heard a crash as the man dumped all those items on the uh, concrete to demonstrate how the H-A-A-G-A -A -A sweeper will work. There are a couple more people who make these tactile systems, armor, tile, and advantage. The big sign says Pioneer Eclipse and Amano Company, and they have uh, machinery that produces very shiny concrete. So you can take a test ride here at the show as well. A company called John Don says, let's tackle your toughest jobs. And they have a lot of, uh, I think this is all finishing equipment too, but way beyond my pay grade to understand all this. This exhibit is called Vacuum Works, and this must be the machine. There's a gentleman in there lifting, was lifting up a big piece of concrete, I guess, with vacuum, with vacuum technology. Let's see if he does it again. Let's hope the suction does not ever give way because 
Big heavy things could drop. company is called Lid Sheen and they are actually using this show as an opportunity to look for folks to join their team and sell their equipment. Of course there are lots of jobs available in the construction industry these days so Lig Sheen is taking advantage of a show with lots of folks walking by. Well, I had to look twice because at first I thought the sign said screen saver and it's screed saver to a machine that can be rented, show special, $12.99 a month. And what a screed saver does is smooth out concrete once it has been poured into uh, the frame. So I'm told. Well, I finally made it to the South Hall. I had a nice sit down and talk to a couple of people. And here we are in the South Hall. The first part of the South Hall is all devoted to giving people uh, their badges, etc. And most of the 60,000 or so folks here already have their badges. I don't know whether I knew we have a portable welcome to Las Vegas sign, but we do, and it is here. This is a favorite exhibit. This is Sacrete. And um, I don't know, I just like the way this looks. And as you're walking down the aisle, you look right into the exhibit. I stopped here to ask what these were, because they looked a little bit like carpet tiles, etc. And the gentleman explained that when you're building a big building, often the floors go in first, but there's still lots of construction to do. So you need a temporary floor covering to protect the floors you already laid, and then it can go away when the building is finished. This company promises to restore, repurpose, and renew concrete. Now, if they could make that same kind of guarantee to old ladies, I'd be in. Yang Yin is an exhibit from China, I'm assuming. And I don't know whether the people in the exhibit are from China, but in view of the virus, I'm a little concerned. However, I'm assuming everything is okay. I saw a sign at this booth that talked about blast-off concrete, and I had to go ask the gentleman what we are talking about. And he explained that in um, building projects, etc., it's very possible that concrete can uh, be spilled inadvertently and what this company does is provide the chemicals that will melt the concrete as you can see on the left no concrete on the right that's what we were talking about so this is blast off concrete remover the name craft means something totally different to me than here at this show this is craft tool company and it looks like they have lots of things that folks in the concrete business are interested in. Proline Decorative Concrete Systems, and here are some examples. Custom designs. I love this idea. My goodness, this concrete looks like wood. I'm not sure I knew that concrete could come in 
colors, like blue and looks kind of uh, orangey red. The diamond tools exhibit has uh, personalized their cutting, cutting tools, I guess. Make concrete cutting great again. If you worked for Strong Manufacturing, established in 1964, and someone said, what does your company do? Your answer would be floor underlayment, floor topping, cellular concrete, fireproofing, manhole rehab, geothermal, stucco, grouting, and mud jacking. A couple of those things, I don't know what they mean, but anyway, that would be the answer if you worked for strong manufacturing. This is something you don't see often, men looking at clothing. But these are work shirts. Probably good prices because we're at the show. Yeah, they have a signed show special. Some things, $85, $90, etc. And a lot of men hanging around. The sign says recycle 100% of all wash water collected. It's kind of interesting to me when we talk about wash water because I have some laundry that is in between cycles. It's been washed, needs to go to the dryer. So I'm going to go home and make sure that happens. I loved being here. I love the world of concrete, even though I know very little about it. Nonetheless, I always learn something. See you next time.